We're doing today Barney Boy here and we're going to be looking at the new iPad Pro today uh, just going over some of the hardware and software features uh, of this brand new iPad Pro 12.9 inch display fourth generation so just by looking at the box I've already unwrapped it I must say uh, when I got home I was too eager to um, get in there and just open it up and get involved with it so I have taken out of its original packaging uh, the cellophane is gone the iPad has been turned on and linked to my Apple ID um, so it is in use it's not a brand new unboxing but it's an unboxing nonetheless so the actual box itself looks nice very big box uh the biggest ipad box there's been so far and we can immediately see from the picture which is quite standard for apple now um, that the whole thing is more or less just a screen very thin bezel uh points around the edges and we like that of course as i'm sure you're aware of this one they have done away with the home button it is only face id uh, and no actual buttons in the screen area it is all touch only anyway we can see on the side we've got ipad pro which of course it is and at the back we can see some of the basic details about it that being the fact that it's 128 gig this is an ipad pro 12.9 inch which is massive fourth generation wi-fi only and something we can read here that they've recently done away over the new ipads and the new iphones is we've got the usb c charge cable in this case uh, and the usb c power adapter in this case as well so that's great so if we just take the actual iPad uh, box apart, take the top off, we can do away with that. Don't need that anymore. And we can see we've got this iPad here. Like I said, I have opened it already, so the cables are loose, the plug is out, and the iPad has been used. There we go, see? So immediately in the box, we can see we've got this massive iPad. Looks very nice. Let's just turn that on for a second. There we go. Uh, 10 past 6 in the evening, I'm recording this. Um, on Wednesday the 28th of October and we can see that it's a nice sleek big iPad with a nice camera unit in the top corner there again Apple logo on the back in the center and then there's just some generic model numbers and codes there holds in the hand really nicely um, I really do like that I think it's fantastic and it's not heavy at all in fact it's remarkably light in weight but before we get onto the iPad uh, let's look at some of these accessories here Obviously, you get your standard information booklets, whatever else. And we've got this charger cable here, um, the USB C cable. Now, again, what Apple have done, like they've done uh, last time, so many years ago, was replaced the pin cable with the lightning cable. And now they've replaced the lightning cable with the USB C cable. And not only have they done that for the actual um, iPad itself, but they've also done it for the power adapter so we can see here it is no longer a usb but in fact a usb c connector now that's going to get some getting used to absolutely my one well, of my iphones are usb some of my other devices are usb and it was just great to put in the computer obviously some computers will have a usb c port but not all uh, again it's obviously the usb c into the ipad i suppose the only uh, benefit of that is it doesn't actually matter which end of the cable you have they will both fit into the power adapter and they will both fit in to the ipad so for charging purposes when you're, you're faffing around trying to find what end maybe in the dark or whatever it's not going to be too bad so cable quite standard otherwise and the plug something i do like about it it's quite nifty it's just that just the prongs Flip out, flip back in. And the benefit about that, I suppose, is when you're transporting it on your commute, whether you be on the bus or the train or whatever, and you've got this in your bag, the prongs aren't going to stick out and jab you in the leg. So that's the, one of the good things about it. Otherwise, it is actually chunkier than previous USB power adapters. Nonetheless, pretty decent. Uh, and overall, I do like it. So just to get onto the iPad... Um, I'm not going to go too much into the actual software and the features of the iPad internally, just because there is so much. Um, oh. But obviously, as we know, this is a Face ID iPad only. Um, and obviously, you can do the passcode as well. But there is no you know, uh, finger ID scanner or home button. What we do have on the sides here is obviously the volume up and down button and then the lock screen uh, sleep and wake button here. There are no other buttons. Obviously, you've got your, your speakers and microphones and your USB-C input there. On the back, as mentioned earlier, we've got the camera unit, uh, chunkier than usual. But obviously, uh, the good thing about this is it's got the portrait modes on it, 
which are fantastic on this iPad. I'd have to say they're almost better. Um, I think definitely better than the portrait mode and camera generally on my iPhone 11. My iPhone 11, sorry. But that could just be to use. Now, just to turn it on and quickly go into it. So Face ID, like I say, it's massive, 12.9 inch uh, display, all touch screen and very thin bezels around the edges. It is very nice and comfortable in the hand and remarkably light. So I think the big things I'm just going to go over here is the camera, really. We're just going to take a quick look at that. You just see that's fantastic. And you've got the wide angle lens. I think that's one thing that I really like about this. <clears throat> so I don't know if you've got an iPhone 11 or above. You can see here you've got the wide angle lens. You can just go zooming out, zooming back in. It's just fantastic. Obviously, we've got the portrait, video, and other modes there, and they're all good. Um, and then just there's a lot of touchscreen features with this phone, with this iPad, sorry. Uh, but I won't go into them too much because there are just so many to list, um, and we'll be here all day. But that is, of course, a time for another video. I think one other thing I want to mention, one accessory you could choose to buy, uh, particularly with this type of iPad, is the eye pencil. Now, here's my cat here, Toby. Now the eye, there you go. Now the eye pencil is uh, a great piece of equipment. It's the first one I've actually owned, like um, a stylus or similar. But this is more than just that. This actually connects to the iPad through Bluetooth. Uh, and if you want to take notes, if you want to do some drawing, or if you want to um, just use it generally to scroll through the apps on the home screen or whatever, it's great to do that with. So you can see there, it's taken me straight by using the eye pencil takes you straight to the notes. So I don't know, you might be, might be a student or something at, at university or college, uh, and this could just be great for taking those notes and, um, you know, just doing things like that. It just makes life so much easier after the carry. You haven't got to carry, a, you know, a book around with you to take notes in or a laptop or whatever. So, you know, I think it's a fantastic piece of kit. You know what I mean? So I'd certainly recommend it. The eye pencil, that was about 90 quid. Um... But I think you can expect them to be in the region of maybe uh, 90 to 120 quid or something like that. And then the iPad itself, this one being 128 gig. Um, Wi-Fi only, uh, this was 900 pounds. So I think, again, you can expect that to be anywhere between, you know, 900 mark, maybe a bit cheaper now as time's gone on and up to maybe a thousand pounds. I know some of my local tech shops, they were around a thousand pound mark. But uh, from the use I've got out of it, I can only say it was all worth it. Uh, fantastic buy, I'd absolutely recommend it. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get the cap with it, uh, but I would say it's a definitely a good purchase. Thanks guys for watching this video. In another one, we'll go over the actual internal features of the iPad, uh, some of the more techy side of things some of the uh, cool features that you can do with this iPad Pro and you know what you can do on this one you can't do on others. I think this is quite a big upgrade for me. Prior to this, I only had an iPad mini uh, second generation and this one is definitely a step in the right direction. Thanks for your time, guys. Uh, please smash the like button on this video and please subscribe. Uh, your support is always much appreciated. Thanks a lot, Barney Boy and Toby.